Okay, so what's up guys, I'm Pixel Sammy and welcome to this newest video. So in this particular video, we're going to talk about Wondershare Uniconverter. Now I'm sure, I'm pretty sure you guys must have heard of this particular software. This particular software is an all-in-one video converter and all thanks to Wondershare for sponsoring this particular video. And hear me out, I am regularly using this particular software for various different uses, which I'm going to explain right now. So first and foremost is that Wondershare is an amazing all-in-one video converter. You can convert one video format to the other like MOV to MP4, AVI, etc. Convert one resolution to the other, upgrade or downscale any kind of videos, convert your audios, put watermark in your videos, etc. But in this particular video, we're going to talk about two new updates to this particular uni converter. The first one is screen recording and the second one is adding subtitles. Two of them are very useful for my case. I'm going to explain in a bit. So with that being said, if you guys like this particular channel, do make sure to subscribe, stay tuned and let's get started. So the first one is adding subtitles. Okay, so who all are already following me on Instagram must be already knowing that I am posting reels regularly and I am posting very good tips and tricks on freelancing, earning a decent income, YouTube in general, all sorts of tips and tricks on my Instagram deals. So if you guys have not yet followed me on Instagram, do make sure to follow me there because I post regular tips and tricks out there for you guys to see. Now in those particular deals, I give subtitles. Now I made the subtitles automatically from the YouTube subtitle generator. Other than those, once the SRT file is made, you guys must know that in FCPS or in Premiere Pro, adding subtitles is easy, but editing them is a bit of a hassle. So once the subtitle is made, once the subtitle file is made, what I do is I use Wondershare Uni Converter, import this particular SRT file, and then reposition it, you know, change the color of it if I want to, change the font of it, and that is pretty much it. In FileCap Pro, SRT files are very hard to edit, especially the position of the SRT files are pretty hard to edit in FileCap Pro. Yes, you can import the files in FileCap Pro, you can import the SRT files in FileCap Pro, but you cannot change the position of the SRT files. You cannot do that in FileCap Pro, very sadly. In Premiere Pro, you can do that, you can change the position too, but it is very complicated. Sometimes the font do not work, sometimes the color do not match, sometimes the export file does not look as good as it should be. So because of those particular reasons, I was finding some other ways to add subtitles to my videos. And thankfully, very thankfully, I use Wondershare right now, which is pretty amazing for doing this particular trick. Just add the subtitle, reposition it as per your liking, change the font, change the color, and you're pretty much good to go. With that being said, that is the first update, which is adding subtitles. The second one is screen recording. Now, if you guys know how I screen record, I use QuickTime. Now, it records at 4K, it records at a very high you know, bitrate, so the quality is very good. But it is not so much necessary for YouTube videos because a 2K video or maybe a 4K video at a lower bitrate is also very good for tutorials because most of the times I have to zoom it in for the important parts and so for that particular reason those higher bitrate might not do that much good and because of this higher bitrate in QuickTime recorder the size of the screen recording is pretty high it is so huge like a 2 minute 4K recording is so damn large that is not something which is very viable for me so for that particular reason i use the wondershare screen recording it records at pretty good quality the resolution is very good all the things are very crisp and clear but the size is not that huge and because of that particular reason this is one of the good screen recorders out there i know that obs studio is pretty good but it is super complicated man it is just so complicated so i don't like to use obs studio and i'm pretty sure that whoever uses mac might just agree to me that OBS Studio might be a bit more complicated compared to QuickTime. So I don't like to use OBS Studio, but Wondershare Uniconverter's screen recorder is pretty good, pretty decent quality and pretty low storage also. So that is what one of the updates which I like a lot and I regularly use this particular Wondershare Uniconverter for recording as well as adding videos for my YouTube videos as well as for my Instagram videos. So those are two new amazing updates this particular software has. I know they have sponsored this particular video but I'm not liable to say anything nice about them if I don't like it. 
again i'm super sorry this is the second time my battery died on me so as i was saying that although this is a sponsored video i regularly use wondershare quite a bit of times because i need to sometimes send a video to a client in a lower resolution so i use wondershare for that particular purpose sometimes i have to watermark a particular video for that i use wondershare for that particular purpose and now i am using wondershare for adding subtitles embed those subtitles directly inside of the video you cannot edit the subtitles in wondershare but you can embed those subtitles inside of the video in wondershare as well as deposition adjust the font colors etc also you can screen record now using wondershare 2 and you don't have to use those high storage ones from the quicktime recorder and i know that other screen recorders are paid too the good ones are paid too so it is good to have all in one in one particular software so that is why i use wondershare a lot the link is there in the description if you want to check it out so if you guys like it do much to subscribe comment down below about what you guys think about this particular video with that being said this is pixel sammy we'll be back with another video soon peace out